Today, I'm going to talk about the project which is named as Convolutional Neural Network Application in Face Recognition. Firstly, is the existing approaches nowadays for face recognition. Like the first one, principal component analysis, which is used to lower the dimensions by keeping important features and throw away unimportant ones. The second one is used uh, is named as LDA, which use the linear method to partition the data and maximize differences between classes and uh, minimize the differences within a class. The next one is fully connected neural network, which costs a lot because of too many parameters. And there are also many other kinds of methods. The basic idea of convolution is shown as an image. Mm, there are many parameters, like X stands for the input, W stands for the weight, D stands for the bias, G stands for the activation function, and A stands for the output. The structure of the network is show as the image. The first one is the input layer, and the last one is the output layer. Between these kind of layers are the hidden layers, which consists of three main kinds of layers. The first one is named convolutional layer. Convolutional layer use the kernel slide on the image to get convolutional result as output, use uh, this layer is used to extract features. Each output can be regarded as a feature of the image, and uh, the number of layers really matters because too many convolutional layers will get too much features, which cause the parameters increases greatly, and it will cause the reduction on efficiency of training while at the same time, too few layers will cause the problem that you may not know whether the extracted, fe uh, whether the extracted features can be enough for classifying. And uh, the next layer is pooling layer. Like the process shown in the picture, each region of the same color is represented by max number in it, like the gray region, there are four numbers, one, two, three, four, so we choose the max number four to stand for the region as the output. This can help to reduce the calculation because the number of data decreases when used in next year, the next layer. In addition, other pooling methods like average pooling may also be applied. Here I choose the max pooling and the average pooling will not be introduced in detail. And the next layer is fully connected layer. This layer can also be regarded as user filter to do the convolutional process of the input data to merge the features. The output will be a single value on each node. This layer is used to reduce the effect of position on pixels, so the features that are extracted will not be limited on the special part of the image, and this helps to increase the robust ability of the trained model. Besides, the activation function is used to activate the features and then output when the input towards the model reaches the predefined threshold. Here, the program uses the real function, which is shown as the picture. When the input is below zero, return zero. Otherwise, return the input value. The advantage of this function includes that it converges fast. Sigmoid functions can also be chosen, but it has already been proved that it will get bad, get bad results of training.
in the programming part the main step mm, sorry uh, here is the whole concept of this kind of network firstly you input an image to the convolutional layer and then go to the pooling layer the convolutional layer and the pooling layer can repeat multiple times and then finally go to the connected layer to get the output and in the programming part the main step are getting the image and the process them and get the classifier trained by input these images there are many pre-process mm, like uh, for example cut the image into fitted size for processing of training and the next is the experiment and the result the accuracy shows that it will report the batch processing times and the loss the performance of classifier is going to be better when the loss is small when I test when I test the classifier if the input image is my own picture the output will show true otherwise if the input is others face like this picture the output will show false we can see from the result that few errors will appear since I haven't get the enough data to train the model and my laptop have has limited ability to deal with the amount of calculation then let me let me demo the mm, program there are four parts of the programs the first part is to get the, get my faces mm, like this function here relight it changes the light of the images randomly and these two functions call these two functions um, can initialize the camera I mean the camera on my laptop to get the real-time image then is to um, do the process to the size of the images and like the index here is 10,000 which means that it will get um, 10,000 images from the camera I mean uh, get my own faces from the camera and the next is the set others faces mm, the process is very similar to the first one and the difference is that this input the image from the online database of the other faces and, and get the image process to output into the other faces this named file and the, the image process is almost the same like the first one then the most important is to train the model in this program it it used the mm, input data from my faces and the set others faces to train the model mm, firstly to get the image and mm, adjust the size of the image to fulfill the edge part and then transform the image data into arrays uh, which is helpful to computing on the computers and in this part in CNN layer uh, like I said there are various there are um, multi layers like in the first layer and also in the second and the third layer is the same the first layer it defines the size of the convolutional kernel like input 
and uh, define the size of convolutional kernel and also the size of input and output, then do the convolution. And uh, through the pooling layers, and then drop out some um, drop out some outputs. In case of overfitting, this process is um, randomly drop. And like I said, the third, uh, the second and the third layer is almost the same as the first layer. And finally, the fully connected layer and the output layer. By going through the network, the trained, um, the trained model output the uh, some parameters, which can be saved into the checkpoint. This is um, this is convenient for um, uh, recall these parameters and insert it into the um, CN CNN trails, a uh, CNN classifiers in the future. Mm. I mean the future is in is um to use um, to classify the face and um, in this program. And also in this program um, I output the loss and the um, processing times if the accuracy can reach um, 98% then um, output the checkpoint and uh, save as a uh, save in the root files and then get the result from the checkpoint uh, insert the parameters into the uh, trailer into the CN layer um, and then we can just use it let me demonstrate um, let me run these programs here it gets the, it gets the uh, image from the front camera is real time I mean <laughs> this is me <laughs> then in this part and um, to deal with the image from other uh, from the database the processing um, the processing is um, showed in this and then um, after process on the images we train the classifier Because of the limitation on the memories of my computer, it always it exists uh, exceed the memory, so <laughs> it's kind of limitation. It starts. I will show only part of them. Then is a program to um, read image from real time camera to determine uh, de determine whether uh, it is me or not. It takes time to start the program okay here comes the real-time camera image capture from mm, my laptop it shows in the in this part that is all my face, so it returns true. 
thing it comes um, I use my uh, I use another picture where it contains other faces in my phone um, to the camera so um, the camera captures other faces and it also returns false Okay, here comes the conclusion mm, that the CNN is very efficient for training model in face recognition. With huge amount of input image data, there is a trend that the classifier will have a more accurate result, which can reach higher than mm, in this program 98% accuracy compared to my trained test this time. And with the increasing demand on accuracy and the speed of face recognition in almost all areas in daily life, there is still huge space to improve the performance of it in the future. So that's all for today. At last, thank you for watching.